They have been chosen to lead the European Union. A socialist man from the south, Antonia Costa, a centre-right woman from the west, Ursula von der Leyen, and a liberal from the east, Kaya Kallas. They have support from European leaders. But von der Leyen, the incumbent presidential nominee of the executive body, needs to be confirmed by a European Parliament vote. She recognises that she cannot rely solely on the moderate three-party platform to secure the win. The European unity. Um, I will be reaching out, for example, also um, to uh, MEPs from other groups than the platform. And for me, it is a matter of convincing, uh, a, uh, if possible, a broad majority for a strong Europe. So this is what I'm going to be working for the next, what is it, three weeks intensively, and then we'll see. Estonian Prime Minister Kaja Kallas was appointed to be High Representative for External Policy and Security. She is well known for her hard stance against Russia and will also need European parliamentary support. This is enormous responsibility in this uh, time of uh, geopolitical uh, tensions. Um, there's war in Europe, but there's also growing instability uh, uh, globally um, that uh, also are the main challenges for the European uh, foreign policy. Former Portuguese Prime Minister Antonia Costa will assume the mandate of President of the European Council on December 1st. He promised to promote unity among the 27 member states and to implement the strategic agenda.